customers, massive differentiator between uh, you know last year's traditional peak and all the peaks we've seen before, and this peak where you know there's a substantial number of customers who have never even engaged in digital at all, mm -hmm. let alone e-commerce and, and shopping online. They're, they may be just completely digital, digitally unfamiliar, um, and now you know they've they've come into this new world, it's new audiences that have embraced that channel through, you know, through necessity. So how are your clients and, and other retailers that you've seen adapting to those audiences, you think, uh, people who have not shopped online at all historically? Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that we're preparing for. And we also have seen over the, the last few months. So it's, if you take a step back and look overall, it's, there is an increase across all age demographics. So overall, I think it's 25 to 30% up across the board, but primarily most of this is say 45 plus, and then again, 54 plus again. So that is the 45 plus demographic that is where we're seeing the most of those consumers come through. And these are people who, like you said, haven't really searched before. So it's a brand new experience for them. So it's, it's also something that we're taking into account when we're say, planning campaigns, running campaigns, and it's, um, a case of just being consistent. So for us, we generally will run at something that we try to be mindful of. If we're running, say, a cross-channel campaign, um, cross-platform, we always do have that consistency in our messaging. Today. So if oh, I haven't been to site before and I'm the consumer, if I'm on say, Facebook, I'll see an ad that is a bit softer, it's a bit more descriptive, um, and I'll see the same on display. But if I've been to site before and been on a product page, then my messaging will be that bit more consistent, okay? call to action, I want you to buy X, Y, and Z. So it's it's really, it's something that we've always done. There's like an extension of that. So Hannah touched on it um, briefly as well. So it's, we always get new audiences during peak. People who come through to a brand during peak season, they're unlike your standard consumer. They have different fantasies, different demographics. So they're, it's generally something that we are prepared for anyway. And like, I think quite interesting, even a client we had a couple of years ago was in, their, their brand's very much uh, younger male. You'd expect 18 to 22 two year olds being the target demographic. But when we were planning peak season, we were uh, talking to the, the client, we were like, okay, your audience during peak is, it was uh, just 45 plus, they were they tended to be women. They were in market for makeup handbags and, and these kind of things. It was very different to their normal consumer. So we had to, we have been having these conversations with brands, okay, we're looking at targeting someone who is a bit different, but it's just a case of being open to it. Okay, well, they're a bit different, but they're also likely to um, convert as well. Okay, let's um, find our campaigns around these as well. But um, I think this year, you touched on as well, it's difficult consumers, someone who isn't really used to, to buying online. So for us, it's just trying to reassure as much as possible. So as well as that, um, having consistency between our messaging at all stages of the funnel across um, say channels and platforms, we're doing what we can within our ads as well. So looking at, um, say, our search ads, it's in the ad copy, we're reassuring it's okay, um, ease of returns. Um, we're looking at you know, free delivery or um, pushing reviews where we can. So okay, this has got four and a half stars on FIFO or whatever consumer uh, review tool that it is. And um, social, it's easier for us to kind of educate, I suppose, through social. So um, going back to, client we had uh, during lockdown so um, we were working with a client called uh, Neo Cocktails so home delivered cocktails a brand new sub vertical within the UK so people hadn't really been exposed to getting cocktails delivered to the home so it was a bit of a new experience for people so what we were the approach we were taking was like let's just try and educate let's have these short form videos three-step process of buying the cocktail get it through my door uh, to always uh, and enjoy so we're doing this type of approach too, just making it really easy, educating, having a gift guides as well. The gift guides been around for quite a few years, but just again, making it easy for people who maybe aren't familiar with the online process or, or your brand. Okay, cool. I see some products here I might like, and then um, we go from there. But um, I think my favorite, I'd say, and even as a consumer, it's something I quite enjoy when brands use, it would be um, chatbots. So I'm um, kind of, uh, retail concierge chatbots who if like we saw during last lockdown when there was a huge influx of consumer queries and questions that 
brands found it hard to stay up to date with or to, to manage. But having like a retail chatbot which can run, say, within Facebook Messenger, it just takes off some of that that um, load from um, the the teams running those particular say, customer care. At the same time, they act like it's like this one to one brand interaction. We're having a consistent voice between all the consumers who interact with your brand have that one voice that they're they're getting and also it's like a salesperson too if someone's happy to okay this product looked good to me then you can get sent through directly through to that um, deep linked landing page so and definitely quite a few ways for us to try and make life easier for this new demographic but i think a lot of it is oddly enough stuff that we have done before but now it's just the case of okay well there is that new audience but let's just keep an eye on them while we're doing more of the same so there is that new audience we're making sure messaging is consistent, consistent and clear across um, all touch points. What you've highlighted there, I think, is just how many different things uh, retailers can deploy um, to, to help with this. 